Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. My name is Lauren B. This week, we're going to use the Mystical Shaman for you. I only have a few cards out on my table for you because I want to use just as little cards as possible this week. It's just the mood that I'm in. But I have some interesting downloads for you that came through the channel. The first of which is about St. Martha. I didn't really know a lot about St. Martha. So when her name popped into my head, I had to look into her a little bit. And apparently, St. Martha is the patron saint of homemakers, cooks, um, domestic workers, waiters, waitresses, um, which for me, I was a bartender for over 10 years. It's people that are sort of like in the service industry are natural caretakers. And we do have a full moon in Cancer at the end of this week. And Cancer is the moon. It's the great mother. And so I'm wondering if right now, Sagittarius, you are in the process of reevaluating Perhaps maybe your profession, if you do work in a caretaking, healthcare service industry type of capacity. But I just wonder if you're reevaluating right now how you nurture others, how you serve others, and whether or not it's in balance with the way that you serve and meet your own needs. As I continue to look into St. Martha a little bit more, she teaches us that from her diligence, we learn not to allow ourselves to be so overcome by daily duties that we neglect to love. This is interesting because in my experience, I have <laughs> so many times have just run myself into the ground, overworked myself into such a dizzy that I am just like this ball of anxiety. And when I stepped into your energy, Sagittarius, I felt a lot of anxiety, particularly like right here at the top of the chest, almost to the extent that it was causing like a shortness of breath. And so I'm wondering if you're feeling a little bit winded and anxious and exhausted and it's kind of just like you're the road runner a little like honk honk and you're just going and going and going to the point where you're not having the ability to check in with yourself and ask if you're doing too much or maybe emotionally investing in the work that you do to the extent that like there's no separation from it a lot of you guys are empaths you're really energetically very sensitive people you're intuitive people and it's really important to remember that as intuitive people Sagittarius like you are a sponge especially if you work in the service industry or in healthcare or anything like that you are absorbing energy from people all day and without realizing it just because you clock out for the day you're bringing all of their energy home with you and so it becomes so burdensome I think that moving forward not only reassessing how you serve and nurture others is important, but also how you disconnect and cleanse your own energy from the outside world feels like it's of like a great importance to you just for like psychic energetic hygiene, but also like for emotional regulation. One of the songs that came through for you on the shuffle mancy is this song called Sleepy Head by Passion Pit. We've been getting a lot of throwbacks this week. When I'm thinking about sleepyhead, it's this idea of like you wake up and it takes you like a long time to kind of like get with the program, right? It's like you just feel like a little bit foggy. And so I think maybe that's part of the anxiety as well is that you're feeling all of like this spiritual or this emotional energy and it's kind of putting the body on high alert, but the mind is really foggy. So it can't make sense of what is yours and what it's not. It's they're showing me almost like laundry separating like the whites from the colors what needs to get bleached what needs to get dry cleaned like there's a need for organization right now when it comes to your emotions when it comes to your duties just like saint martha so that way you don't become so overwhelmed by them that you forget to love that you forget to like check in to your spirit that you forget to like check in with sort of like whatever you consider God or the divine to be. I think that one of the benefits of having or believing in any type of higher power is that we have the ability to sort of offload what we cannot handle, what is too much for us and defer it to like a higher source of wisdom. I can't tell you how many times in my life I've been like, listen, Jesus, this, this has got to be a you problem because if this stays a me problem I'm gonna pop my top and in those moments I actually felt like a big weight lifted off of me it is the practice of surrender right not so that way we're escaping or avoiding issues that we need to deal with so that way we're just at least getting off whatever is not ours so that way we can handle our own emotions and our own duties, our own responsibilities, whatever it is that we have going on um, in like a manageable way. Does that make sense? 
something else I thought was really interesting about the Sleepyhead song is for some reason, I just felt really inclined to like click the info on the music video and only one of the writer's names had popped up. There's a couple, but his name was Michael Angelikos. Michael Angel Echo. So I thought that was really interesting too because we have St. Martha, it's like we have Archangel Michael. We have a lot of these very like angelic and saintly energies coming forward to support you today, to help you prioritize differently, to help you manage energy a little bit differently, to remind you of when you should be kind of taking a step back and you know kind of leaning into faith and surrendering energy that does not serve you so that way you can bring your anxiety down in the mystical shaman the journey card came out and this is a little bit of what you feel like right now like when i think of a sleepy head this is the character that pops to mind right his hair is kind of messy he's looking down it's like he's not really awake because he's still tired and so this could also be a sign for you Sagittarius that you haven't fully like recouped the energy that you lost last year and you're already trying to throw yourself into like a full throttle and being maybe like a little bit surprised while you're not like keeping up the way that you want to behind this character we also see like a gigantic moon and so this is a reminder that you are a mutable sign you're pretty flexible right you have that beautiful inner fire but you also have a huge powerful cardinal moon like pushing on your energy and it literally feels almost like a strainer um in the elemental oracle there's a card called transformation and there's a woman and it literally looks like she's being pushed through a strainer and like into the ethers so it's a really visually exciting card and i feel something similar from this today there is this sort of strainer a squeegee type of energy trying to push out like a lot of the density a lot of the stress a lot of the things that maybe like you're caring a little bit too much about in lieu of caring for yourself and your spiritual health a little bit more this owl on top of your head is interesting because one there is this sort of strategy i feel you operating with of you know i just have to be wise i just have to you know play my cards right i just have to like stay focused and i'm gonna start feeling better however and i don't think you're necessarily wrong but i do think that you're kind of neglecting a little bit of the physical needs and your emotional body right we can't just have all of this airiness and some of that is capricorn season like hey everybody get your shit together but that you know getting your shit together or getting your ducks in a row it, it is more complex than just having good organization or just powering through something it involves like the shadow and the inner child and emotional harmony and faith and trust and all of these other factors to like work into the mix so that way like you're taking aligned action and so i think a lot of this pressure that you're feeling right now is coming from this full moon and you may find yourself like especially triggered at this time and if that's the case that's okay show yourself a little bit of grace for that and allow yourself to actually feel as opposed to just intellectualizing your emotions so that way you can release that energy something else that's really interesting to me about this card is do you see how the one wing is here but on this side there isn't a wing almost as if it's kind of been ripped off and just the way he looks and his countenance and, you know, the way his body language is so retracted, it's bringing forward this story of Lucifer, right? This angel that has like sort of fallen from grace. And so I'm also wondering if something that is bothering you right now is feeling like somehow you have had a fall from grace because this card is number 29, which breaks down to 11. 11s for me talk about alignment. And there's something here about like a tremendous amount of like internalized shame that you perhaps have and have been carrying because you have not been able to consistently live up to what you perceive your alignment should be. Does that make sense? Or so in a lot of ways, you may feel a little bit like a fallen angel, a fall from grace, because you haven't been able to consistently actualize like what you feel like your alignment should be, how you should be feeling, how you should be thinking, what you should be able to get done. It's a lot of like expectations that you're putting on yourself. And when you don't live up to them, it feels like you become very um, dejected and you feel very disconnected from your source of fulfillment 
of refreshment, which is the divine. It's almost the idea of like, I didn't live up to this. I'm having a hard time doing it. So I don't even want to look at God because I'm ashamed. Like I don't deserve like the love or the forgiveness, or I don't deserve anyone to cut me any slack. It's very much of like this drill instructor energy that like the warrior, right? It's very like warrior energy. I'm on this journey and I should be sort of like this warrior and powering through and I haven't and I'm really mad at myself. And so I refuse. It's almost like a way that you punish yourself. And so I refuse to allow myself to receive the love and the healing that I actually need as because I want to punish myself. I'll punish myself and I won't allow myself to like go to God or go to the divine or go to your ancestors for this healing. I'd rather punish myself and deny myself the access to that rather than go stand before creation or the universe or God and have them tell me that I haven't done a good job. Cause I already know that and I don't need to hear it twice. Does that make sense? The beloved is coming up next though with the heart of the sky. And so if you have been in this process of even subconsciously withholding yourself from receiving like the love or the support or the encouragement that you need perhaps from the angelic or the saintly realm um now's a really good time to kind of like reevaluate that because one it feels like it's available for you like the heart of the sky and it feels like the sky god creation your ancestors your spirit guides it's like they have heart for you they recognize and hold space for your humanity sagittarius much more than you do right and they want to extend love and healing and support because walking around with sort of like this internalized shame it's not helping anyone and it's most certainly not helping you and in a lot of ways it may be encouraging or in or motivating you to continue to overgive and overserve without prioritization and without boundaries it's almost like you're trying to work off a karmic debt that doesn't exist that makes sense and on my board these two cards are on the right hand side which for me means that they're sort of future energies which gives me this impression that as i said before it feels like when you haven't really properly recharged from everything that you've been through on your journey thus far and you're already trying to full throttle full steam ahead before we get to the next stop is what wants to come through it's important that you allow a purification. This purification doesn't come by way of like this deep purgy shadow work, but instead the purification is coming by way of allowing yourself to receive love, to receive absolution, to allow like your team or your universe, whatever you resonate with, to come in and say, hey, you're actually not doing that bad. You're not a bad person. You don't have to be doing all of this. And it reminds me of this story um, about Mary and Martha and Jesus. And Mary and Jesus go to visit Martha and they're staying in her house and she's running around. She's cooking, she's cleaning, she's like doing like 50, 11 things, right? And Mary is just sitting down and just hanging out with her son. And Martha goes over to Jesus and basically says like, hey, could you ask Mary to come help me? Um, because I'm doing a thousand things right now. Like, could you please tell her to come help me? And Jesus goes, absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you want to toil away, like, okay. But like Mary has chosen the good portion. And so again, it's about prioritization that sometimes we can keep ourselves busy. Sometimes we just have shit that we have to do, right? I got a million things to do today. But sometimes we will subconsciously, unconsciously just keep ourselves so busy so we actually feel like we're doing something again because we're trying to work off some kind of debt or because we are trying to prove something that we're not lazy that we're not bad that we're trying to prove to ourselves that we can be consistent in this new energy right that we are of service that we are helpful like we are earning our keep and Jesus looks at her and goes no Mary has chosen the good portion because she's sitting here with me and she's catching a good word we're having a laugh, right? I'm paraphrasing, but right? <laughs> you know, Jesus is like, we're having a laugh, like we're enjoying each other's company, like we're sitting here, we're exchanging love, like Mary has chosen the good thing. You are free to come and choose the good thing too. You are free, Sagittarius, to take a, a small, little, well, tiny, tiny little time out um, and like go and sit with your creator or go sit with your ancestors or just sit with your soul. Bring that anxiety down for a moment and allow yourself to receive the thing that you actually do need. Maybe right now you don't need another piece of instruction. Maybe right now you don't need like the next stop 
on you know your journey you don't need the blueprint maybe right now what you need is like a little bit of a snuggle maybe you need a little bit of love maybe you need to allow like the angels if you work with them right allow the angels to come in and like lift up your spirit give you give you back your other wing because when i look at this wing that has been ripped off it doesn't feel like it was taken away from you it feels like you ripped it off because you felt unworthy it's like trying to live up to this this like mythos in your head right it's like about who you're supposed to be and when you feel like you're not actualizing that you just can't stand yourself right and that's sort of like see this black circle back here in many ways it feels like for a long time it was like eclipsing this illumination of what's going on in your subconscious right this cancer moon but now that eclipse has moved over we can see the light we can see the full, full illumination like we can see what's happening with you now the card at the bottom of the deck is the holy mountain it's also the earth keeper too so again it's just a reminder for you Sagittarius that you are incredible and you can do so many things but it is not your sole responsibility to save humanity. It's not your sole responsibility to hold up a business. It's not your sole responsibility to be the glue in a family. It's not your sole responsibility to do it all. The Earth Keeper is one of many, that it is everyone's job to participate, to, to be of service to others in a way that feels really loving and supportive and you know uh, brightens up our spirit when we do it but when we start to become sullen and we start to be become burdened by it, it's important to put the dishes down and you know kind of sit where the good portion is wherever that is for you right so this is what i have for you this week Satch. i hope i gave you a little food for thought i love you very much i am gonna go do an extended reading so if you're interested in that the or your monthly reading for january those are going to be the top two links in the description box i always encourage you guys to check out patreon because we have all of the extendeds and all of the monthlies and honestly it's a better deal for your money um i always want to save you a couple dollars if i can i love you very much thank you for coming and spending time with me and i'll see you next time goodbye